Hi, I'm Steve from the GI department, here to show you how a linear ultrasound scope looks and works. The particular model I have here is an Olympus linear scope. There's two types of linear scopes that we use, linear and radial. A linear scope, if I take this foam boot off so you can see, linear scope has a transducer here at the end and a camera as well. Now the transducer looks one way and gives you a kind of a pie-shaped image. Uh, the video uh, camera at the end here looks kind of straight ahead and over the transducer and it gives you a normal high-definition video image. Now, the, the, this scope works just like most other endoscopes. It has a control handle here. It has the angulation controls right here. It has the angulation locks here and here. If I can show them so you can see them a little better. We want those in the free position when uh, the scope is being clean and when it's drying. The only time it goes into a lock position is if the position, and I'm gonna show you the tip here. Uh, if he happens to bend this or angle this in a certain direction, either left, right, up or down, and he wants to keep it in that position, he will hit the lock button and that will make it stay where, we, where he wants it. Now, this particular scope also has an elevator. Let's see if you can see that close up. The elevator is controlled up here on the control handle as well. I'll move it back and forth. Hope you can see that. So, and that helps to steer the instrument that goes through the scope in the direction that we need in order to usually obtain a biopsy or aspirate something, uh, any kind of, there's other instruments that can go through this as well. It has a fairly large channel and working channel. Working channel is a little different from most endoscopes in that the working channel here is a lure lock on it. The lure lock uh, uh, is so that we can lock in certain types of needles and instruments onto the scope that goes through the working channel out the tip, the distal tip, in order to obtain those biopsies and forceps, uh, biopsies and uh, 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 aspirating. So this uh, is, has a little bit different cap on it, the biopsy cap, and uh, that's something we'll get to a little later. Uh, this also has something here, two different electrical connectors. Um, the top electrical connector here that goes, that's close, goes closest to the light guide tube is a um, electrical connector for the video portion of the scope. And yeah, and this particular electrical connector here is uh, made just for the ultrasound portion of the scope. This will go to an ultrasound uh, processor sitting next to our video processor. And well, this signal from here will go to our video processor to produce a video image on the monitor. Um, it uses different types of valves. Can't really show them here because they're in this basket, but these different valves are used for um, just ultrasound scopes. The other thing that we do different with a linear scope and a radial scope, other than regular, than regular endoscopy scopes, is there is a balloon placed over the top of the transducer portion. Now this balloon placed over the top of the transducer, transducer is, a, um, is in, inflated with water. So it's like a water balloon hanging on the end of your scope. The water balloon, as uh, when when it's needed, uh, by pushing one of the buttons up here on the on the control handle, will inflate with water. And uh, as it gets, it'll get larger up to about two three centimeters in size once that balloon is inflated all the way with water. The reason we do that is because. Uh, Transducers use sound waves. Ultrasound uses sound waves. 
And we want that, that image to, uh, to leave the transducer, hit the image that's, that we're looking, trying to look at, and send an image back to the transducer using sound waves. So it'll just bounce off and come back. Uh, the reason we use the balloon with the water in it is water transmits sound waves much easier. It's denser. And uh, if you've ever been in a swimming pool or in a creek and somebody bangs two rocks together, you know how the sound travels real fast. Same idea with ultrasound. And so that's why we're going to use the uh, uh, balloon on the tip of the insertion tube. Um, there's also a little foam boot we're going to keep on this tip of this because this particular transducer on the ultrasound, both radial and linear, is uh, the transducer is extremely uh, delicate. It has a crystal in there that if it breaks or cracks has to be replaced and it's kind of pricey. Uh, when we uh, continue to use the scope, um, when we're done using the scope, we go through the cleaning process, which we'll go through later. Um, then they, these waterproof caps, water and air resistant caps, will go on to the scope uh, for, and it'll be transported to the uh, cleaning room where uh, it'll be high, go through a process of high level disinfection. Uh, this also protects the electrical pins on the inside. I hope that helps. We'll go through some more next. Thank you.